Hello Libra and welcome to Ascending Soul's Journey. I'm Lorianne and we're going to take a look at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Libra. And whatever is coming your way, we're going to look at that with detail. But keep in mind, this is a general reading, so we may also, uh, we'll be looking at love, career, finance, whatever comes through this reading, I will relate the message to you. Now, I've been having a really hard time getting in tune with this reading for some reason. So I switched to other zodiac signs and found, no, it's actually you. Now, the starting card for the starting week rolling out of August into September is the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands is about victory, being victorious in whatever it is that you do and standing out in a crowd. So if this is you in your career, this is you doing a better job than you probably ever thought possible and actually getting rewarded. People are going to acknowledge, wow, you've really done some extreme work on yourself as a person in that position, or if it's a relationship, it, the same would apply. Now, we also have the Queen of Wands that came out. I mean, the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is actually representing the zodiac sign of Libra. Queen of Swords is saying that you need to cut out whatever's been holding you back. So if this is a mental restriction, Libra, you're going to be letting go of that. You might be seeing the truth and severing ties with somebody around you that may have been uh, deceiving you somehow. The truth is going to be revealed, which is going to make you feel very victorious in your own life, in your own world, whatever you have going on in your life. Now with this, you know, you could be dealing with a Libra, a Gemini, Aquarius, but whatever it is, they're saying, look through your third eye and see beyond what you normally see. Do the job that you do, but do it beyond what you normally do. So right now, people all over are a little bit uh, grumpy and irritated and panicked and feeling stuck overall in general just in the world in general. So with this energy, as you're rolling out of it, you're going to start off really well. So you could have had a great month of August, and now it's going to get even better. As we roll into the second week, now we have the Emperor. The Emperor is about having control over whatever you're doing. When we focus on the relationship, when we focus on the job, we can have control, but not be too stubborn where we're controlling the situation. Be open to whatever the universe is bringing you because you got a brand new chapter coming in. And we all do, a lot of us do. Some of us just started our chapter in the year of 2021, and the next group is coming in right around September, October, and I feel that's when yours is going to take place in your closer toward your birthday time. Now the world card, you could be dealing, actually you could be dealing in the second week, you could be dealing with a Leo of Taurus of Virgo. I also feel Pisces is attached to your reading this time as well. So what, and, and I'll call any other zodiac signs that come through. But with this emperor, you might be getting an opportunity that is going to be absolutely dynamic. The emperor in business is saying this is a very large corporation. Most likely this is an international or a very large corporation that is going to be presented to you. You have to be in your most victorious stance in order to get this opportunity. So that's why it's reverting back to the first week. And I don't normally do that, but it's very important for this particular group of you. You have to remove anything or anyone that has been holding you back, keeping you stuck in that stuck pattern. I don't mean walking away from your, your partner or just walking out on a job because in order to be victorious we have to use honor integrity and truthful communication the swords are about communication so in these first two weeks you've got something amazing getting ready to come through so let's pull a little bit more detail on it and i'll pull a romance angel card for you as well now i know this is a little bit different than the other readings that i've done because I'm guided to do this one different. And uh, if you notice, I'm in a, in a little space. I'm in my room. I am 
staying with my soul family, my beautiful, beautiful soul family. So don't mind that. We have the Nine of Cups, and this is a wish being granted. Now, it came out in the reverse. So as we look at this first week, whatever you need to cut out has not been bringing you any cheer. It hasn't been bringing you any joy because this is a wish being granted. Celebration, having fun with other people. You may have actually, uh, you might need to eliminate if you're overindulging in anything. It doesn't have to be alcohol. It could be overindulging in playing the video games or anything like that. Whatever brings you joy, you're going to have to really work at bringing that through. Nine is about getting ready for completion. It also represents the month of September. So as we look at this situation, by the time you hit your birthday, in the latter part of September, you're going to be doing really well, but we're going to keep going. The Nine of Cups, you may be dealing with somebody who has been overindulgent. Maybe they've been drinking, partying a little bit too much. But I feel for a lot of you, this is more about family. We have the King of Wands. And the King of Wands is a wonderful energy because this is talking about your confidence level. You could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. And as we roll into that second week, we do have that beautiful, beautiful, fiery energy that's getting ready to come through. Now, equally, if you've been very, very stubborn in your own life, they're saying, no, no, cut that out. Whatever it is in your life that you've been overindulging in, it's time to let it go because this is an opportunity of a lifetime. It truly, truly is. These two cards are dynamic together. So that means you have something amazing getting ready to come through. It's going to take a lot of strength and courage for you to do whatever it is that you are getting ready to do. And I feel for some of you, you're going to actually stand uh, out in the spotlight. We have the hangman that just blew out. And the hangman is talking about looking at everything from a totally different angle. Looking at the opportunity, looking at whatever you need to cut out. You might even need to look beyond what you've been seeing in front of you. And by looking from each side, you're going to know exactly what it is you need to eliminate. Because the ultimate desire is to get this offer. This may be a person. It may be a job. It may be whatever it is that you dream about with this Nine of Cups. But the truth is, is when we see things from every angle, persecution uh, may have been putting you on hold. You might have been told, don't do that. And that could have even been by somebody you view in an authoritative position, somebody that you love, but yet you need to actually make a choice whether you want to stay or go. And that is the Two of Swords. Stay or go with this emperor. Do I take this job? Do I stay with the situation or this person? Remember, victory is in your destiny. You're starting a new beginning. So at the end of the second week, the opportunity coming in, the offer coming in, is going to help you make that decision. Look from every angle. As you move into the third week, we're looking at the Five of Wands. And the Five of Wands can be inner self-sabotage energy, but it can also be about you having to be in high competition for this opportunity. So if this is a person, it's a person that a lot of people want this person. They want this job or this experience. And it's going to take a lot of strength and courage to fight the masses for you to get it. But the beautiful thing is you're starting off feeling confident. So whatever you're eliminating is going to open the, the window for all of this wonderful opportunity to come in and just rain down upon you. You do not want to be stuck in this self-sabotage energy. And then as we look at the fourth week, and I'm going to pull the detail, of course, here's an offer again, the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is saying, beautiful Libras, you actually have the opportunity coming in that is going to make you feel alive. It's going to make you feel special. And I do see that rewards are getting ready to come in. Six, six pentacles are coming down. So if you were an overgiver, those six pentacles that I see coming down are going to help you balance and stable your own self. And that is perfect for you because you're a Libra and you're all about balance. 
this is an offer of love. This may be an apology coming in. For a lot of you, this is like you being in a dream state and seeing an opportunity. You may have been focused on it. You might have been manifesting, and here it is. It could be a little bit scary, though, and that puts you in that self-sabotage energy. Remember, make the decision from your heart. What is it you love? Do you love this opportunity? Does it feel right for you? Because the Empress is here and saying, Libras, this is about you. Libras, you are the Empress. Whether you're male or female, this is saying you are in the highest form of yourself by the end of September. At your birthday time, you're going to be feeling probably better than you ever have in quite some time. And if this is romance, you're going to find the perfect partner for you by the end of the month. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to run off and get married, but it could for some of you because this is a big decision coming in for you. One that's going to take a lot of strength and courage. One that's going to help you move forward in life, and it's going to be filled with love and excitement. You have a lot of wands and cups on the board. Wands are passion, excitement, adventure. The cups are about, I feel it, I love it, I want it, <laughs> right? And this is all you. So in order to get this wonderful outcome, whatever you're removing, you're going to make that decision by the second week. So let's pull a little bit more uh, cards on the detail. I hope, Libras, you are doing well. And um, I'm, hold on just one moment. I'm being guided to tell you that it's very important to follow your gut, Libras. If this is, sounds like something you're dealing with, and, and what you're dealing with is unique to each and every one of you, but it has to do with something you feel attached to that you really do want. It is your dream. And like I said, with this Nine of Cups, this is a wish being granted. So this offer, this opportunity, is something that I really feel for a lot of you, you've been manifesting and that's why they're saying it's important for you to stay in inside of you. Okay, let me let me finish the message. Stay inside of you so you can move forward into a new without restrictions, without restrictions, okay? Now here's that offer, here's that apology, here's the offer of love that job offer, whatever it is, you're going to like it. You are. Again, it's very important that you stay in focus because this could actually turn everything around. How one card, <laughs> one card can completely change the reading. And this is that one thought, the negative thought process that you hear me talk about, Libra. That is going to take a lot of strength and courage. So some of you with this offer, do I or don't I? This may be an opportunity for you to actually stand out in a crowd. You've got the card of the sun. Your inner child might need to come out so that you can be the authentic you. The queen, I mean the emperor and the empress, these are people, these are individuals that understand how to tap into their own self and follow their own guidance, whether it be listening to the voices of the, the angels, your own higher power, this is about empowerment. So this is a beautiful reading. It truly, truly is. And this is your inner child coming out, allowing you to see everything. It's almost like they're showing me, it's, it's not fireworks, it's like confetti. <laughs> like confetti, like this. So with the sun card, this is giving birth to something new, a beautiful new idea that you may have dreamed up, and it's getting ready to manifest in reality. This could be a new job experience. And for some of you, it's actually giving birth to a child. Uh, you or your partner, you're going to have a baby. And others of you, you might be a grandparent dealing with, with your parents as well. Somebody, a couple that you view as authority. If you are the uh, older of the two, then this would be you dealing with your own child. Where this apology, I feel, is way overdue, 
and it may have kept you feeling a little bit stuck. And not only that, with this Five of Wands, it may be a little confusing as to why they even came back, honestly. But they came back out of love. They came, they're coming in, this offer is coming in to clear out any confusion that you've been dealing with over the last 6-9 months. 6-9 months. It could be years, it's not weeks, it could be years for some of you. It's big, but it doesn't feel like years. So I have a feeling this is what's been taking place in the month, uh, in the year of 2020. And you're going to know how that resonates with you. Now I'm going to pull a Romance Angel card and I'll keep pulling. We have a couple more cards to go. This is a very big decision and you are being guided. You already know. They're telling me you already know exactly what you want. You already know what to do. So it's important again to follow your gut. We have the card of the honeymoon that just blew out, okay? It fell out of the deck. This is about travel. And when I'm talking about starting a new adventure, giving birth to something new, this is literally getting in a boat, getting in a plane, and relocating for an experience that you may have wanted your entire life. And here it is, definitely within the last six to nine months. That may have been when you applied for the job or the apartment or purchased the tickets to make the move, but felt a little stuck, a little confused whether you should go or not. Again, you haven't fully made the decision in the first part of the month. So it's important for you to look at everything, research, pay attention to what you're thinking, and do not self-sabotage your own opportunity getting ready to come in because it may not come back around for another year, a whole year for some of you. That's what I just heard. If this is about an actual relationship, this is you partnering up with somebody and you're going to feel great. This is rising your own level of confidence and coming together with somebody you view as a counterpart to you. Because Libra, you are the Empress, right? You are the Empress. And as the Empress, the Emperor is your counterpart. It's a counter suit. And this is all about you removing something that has been blocking you at least for six to nine months. For some of you, it may be your entire lifetime. You may have been waiting for this person and you may have been separated from them, but it's coming back around again. And this is going to be a little bit nervous. If you haven't seen them, you might feel nervous. You might feel really excited and that could even sabotage it as well. For a lot of you, I feel this is just a brand new, beautiful, beautiful opportunity where you've been creating, manifesting with the Seven of Cups. Now, I'm also feeling that uh, some of you are seeing seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. If you're seeing those numbers, then there's something in this reading that's going to apply to you. Those numbers are very, very strong. We got a seven. We have a nine. We have six. Six, seven, nine. Yeah. So let's see what else they want you to know. I'm, I don't think I meant five, six, seven. Progressive numbers are very key in the first week. Now let's look at whomever, whatever in the second week. Here we go. It's safe for you to love. Now that coincides with what I'm talking about. This love of a job, love of a family member, love of your parents. This is you having internal conflict as to whether or not it's really meant for you. Do I want this or not? And that's what's keeping you stuck by the end of that second week. But don't worry because you've got this beautiful opportunity and with the Six of Wands, this is feeling very courageous when it comes to this romantic relationship. We're in the season of love, Libra, and the season of love is all about being with the people we choose to be with not stuck with them, not feeling obligated to them, not feeling like we have to, but we want to. With this Empress, it's going to be beautiful. So you have a brand new opportunity coming in, a brand new love, a brand new offer, somehow, some way that is going to help you move forward in your life. It's going to be really beautiful. Capture your confidence and do not look back. Don't look back at the things that were negative in your life. Look back at positive, yes. Look back at the dreams and all the manifesting you've been working on. But don't look back at whatever was negative. Free yourself with the card of freedom. Freedom is 
isn't even necessarily about us being free as a, as a person, you know, like in jail. This is about freedom of the mind. The mind is the most powerful part. The mind controls the rest of the body. Surrender to whatever is going on because this is going to be an amazing birthday month for the, uh, the Libras that we are looking at. Have a wonderful month and happy birthday. Much love.